one. Yeah. So, um, just, just on that discussion about the CTS tool, which has been part yeah. of it, that you, you've touched on, yeah. uh, we mentioned earlier that it's not prevent, it's a spying tool. But if you look at the legislation being passed through the prevent arm of it, it's very clearly a spying tool. That's what it's all about. The whole idea of al allowing GPs or making statutory for GPs and teachers now to have to prevent on their, on their agenda to funnel children with extremist views in the channel project is clearly about spying. It's now putting up this idea of extremism into the, Muslim, into the, into the wider community. And this is a community that is now vilified. And you know, GPs and teachers have spoken out against this. So they're not an extension of the British security services. It's, I, all, it's all about spying. And I think this is something that you know, we definitely we should all reject. I mean, one or two people have been to see me about this. And I've written to them in secondary to ask for an explanation of what the thinking was. And, and I think I'm right in saying she, she hasn't given me a reply. I mean, what I say to you, though, is, is this. There clearly is an issue about a very small amount of extremism problem, you know, people going off to Syria and, and so on. I think what would be really useful would be to have a kind of serious dialogue in this kind of setting about what should the British government do. Something clearly needs to be done. I don't think we should be in a position where people feel they're being spied upon. That seems to me that's going to make matters worse. Mm -hmm. So but what is the kind of positive, constructive approach that ought to be taken to, to, to dealing with the, the, you know, the problems which are genuine and which in some areas we're, we're seeing signs of? I, I, I'm not sure, but I think if we had that dialogue, we might come up with some good answers. Yeah. I mean, just, sorry, just to interrupt, yeah, just to recap for, for those who are not familiar with the CTS bill, some of the things that it does allow now is um, a seizure of your passport. Yep. It does allow you, that once, you, to, 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 once you go abroad, that they can refuse you back entry into the country for up to two years without having any appeal. It, it brings in banning orders for speakers who don't have to be proved whether they've said something controversial. It's just Theresa May's uh, decision, um, et cetera, and so on. You know, uh, colleges, universities, et cetera, where they use, there should be freedom of speech to be able to harness thoughts and to be able to develop thoughts are now being told that they have to spy on their students, etc. and so on. It's a, it's a real catastrophe of, of, of objectives. Yeah, no, I, I've, I've got a lot of sympathy for that. And a number of those points, are the, the points that were put to me by my constituents, and I wrote to Theresa May for an explanation of what the thinking about this is. But you know, it seems to me it's, it's, it will be disastrous if the result is that a large part of our population feels they're being, uh, they're under suspicion from the authorities. I mean, that's clearly a completely counterproductive. But I say, it, obviously, something needs to be done, and yeah. I, you know, I think it would be really useful to have a dialogue about what that ought to be. Can I just come back? To yeah, that? sure. I mean, no, no one, no one's saying, of course, with regards to violence, of course, and everyone's agreed that you know no one should go on and do violence. But I think the current narrative is that the more Islam there is, the more people you know, you know, defer to Islam, the more chance of them being radicalised. This is the, the current narrative that's been pushed not only by the media, but also there are, say, the government themselves and all politicians. They're pushing this idea that the more Islam there is. The more youth will get the I, 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 I had a meeting with the uh, the new I think the new Muslim Leaders Forum the other day, and a point they put to me is that actually uh, people who are in mosques by and large are not the, the 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 cause or involved in the kind of problems that we are describing. It's people who are outside mosques that are where the problems are arising. I, you know, that, I don't know whether that's correct or not, but it, it, it seems to me that's quite. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if that was actually the case. That the problem is more with with people who are outside the community or right on the fringes of the community where the problems are starting to arise. Now, if that's correct, then maybe that gives us an idea about what the government's correct, constructive approach to these problems ought to be. I, I guess, the, just to wrap up on this point, the, the point is, is that if somebody becomes more Islamically inclined, they, and, 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 and it's, we're currently following this, this theory that's being put out there of the conveyor belt theory, they go on a journey, apparently, towards extremism, and if somebody well, starts praying, somebody starts, a girl starts wearing a scarf, etc., and so on, these are supposed to radical science, which is our normal way of life, yeah. and, and that's yeah. the issue that we have. Yeah. Well, you see, you know, I, I'm, I'm a Christian, I would very strongly object to people taking the view that a person who became more pious in their Christian faith was going to cause problems. Equally, I don't believe that people who become more pious in their Islamic faith are necessarily going to cause problems, or even more likely to cause problems in the future. I think the difficulty is 
the authorities, people like Theresa May, they see there's a problem and they don't really know what to do to deal with it. And I think if we had a proper discussion in, in, uh, in fora like this, we might come up with some much better ideas. Which goes back to the original point of the appointment of Kafar Hussein sounds even more strange after your comment because he is one of those that pushes that conveyor belt theory. But that's a topic for another day. I think. The